hey, hey, Scrappy people. Tracy Reed here today, coming at you with a bit of a different kind of video. It is an unboxing video, but I don't know if you know, but I design stamps and papers and things for multiple companies. Uh, but this one specifically, I've been working with Katherine Pooler for a few years now. I've known her forever, uh, but I've been working with her for a few years now. And she just sent me a box of things that I've designed this year. So, um, they are a, like a monthly subscription and they also have monthly releases. There are a few different ways to get Catherine Pooler's stuff. So I don't always get everything right away when I um, design it. So I thought I would unbox a bunch of stuff that I have designed this year for Catherine. And this goes all the way through the Halloween release. So, um, uh, we have things that are just now debuting today, I believe, at Catherine Pooler Designs. And I didn't design these, but they threw them in because they're very pretty. They must coordinate with something I did design in this box. Look how pretty those are. Oh, so good. Okay, so we have these two go together, these three, I suppose. And they are the planted stamp set and the love and pieces stamp set and then the planted dies that go with these so uh these were designed i believe they were released in march um it is a like a house plant kit which how perfect is that for me um but it has sentiments that are about like getting a new home which is perfect for me right now as we're moving into our new home so that makes me super excited and then it coordinates with this stamp set which are just like solid blocks of color like in different motifs so like you're supposed to like stamp a solid color and then stamp the um plant over it or you know cut out the plant and put it over it they're just like decorative motifs and then they also have phrases about um home being home that sort of a thing too so these are the planted stamp set the 11 pieces stamp set and the planted dies i designed this background stamp it's called parisian portico just a beautiful repeat pattern stamp these came out in April. They are um, two dies that go together. This one is called, uh, I think it's Cross Your X's and Dot Your Diamonds, I believe. Okay, Stitch Your Diamonds and Cross Your X's. So these are cover plates and they're meant to go together as sort of an argyle pattern. You can see that they have stitches um, embossed in them. So you put this one, in the background and this one over top of it and it makes a really cool argyle plaid situation this was june and it was the parks and rec cover plate die so they're just it's a really nice simple blocky sort of die for the backgrounds like card backgrounds now we're getting into the august releases which are fall this is a fun fun stamp set and die set and pattern paper set that go together. So this is the Harvest Festival pattern papers and the Fall Finds matching stamps. So the mushrooms and leaves and things, um, acorns that are on the stamp set are also in the papers. Uh, you might recognize this floral. It's adapted from my floral in the um, Hearth and Hollow collection last year. So it's not the same, but it is similar because it was just too gorgeous to not have printed. So let's open this up so we can look at these papers. Open, open, open. There we go. You get 24 sheets in eight designs in this paper pad. Goodness gracious. There we go. Okay. And what's cool about Catherine's designs is we always design with the ink colors that, of course, she sells on her site. So down here on the bottom, it says the ink colors that these are designed with. So we got Merlot, Apricot, Orange Peel, Eucalyptus, Buttercream, Over Coffee, Cargo. And then it also has a sequin mix. So here's the floral. One, two, three of each paper. 
and a gingham. Another floral. It's a really beautiful color palette. Very fall, but different for fall as well. Not quite your normal fall color palette, which is super fun. We've got mushrooms and leaves and acorns. Nice simple dot, matches everything. And of course, you know I can't not do a plaid. Can't not? I don't know. Double negative. I have to do a plaid always. And then more leaves. So that is the Harvest Festival paper pad. Here is the matching stamp. I love fall leaves, so I'm super excited to use this one. And of course, we've got the coordinating dies. And then this one is releasing right now, today, maybe yesterday, depending on when I put this up. This is Halloween, and oh my gosh, I had so much fun drawing these um, stamps. This one is called the Toil and Trouble Stamp Set. So we've got this cute um, ghost. We've got a cauldron. So the idea is a bubbly cauldron with the legs sticking out of the cauldron. Look at this adorable, feminine, sweet witchy hat. And then more legs. And then boo, eek, so scary. Witching you a happy Halloween. Hey boo. And then all of these little stars and bubbles and things that you can add on to your cards. Of course, coordinating dies. Then we have the Boo Eek cover plate, which is a ad adaptation from a cut file that I released last year. So this is a cover plate and it says Boo Eek all the way across it. It's backwards, obviously. Um, but the cut file is still on my website if you want to look at the inspiration but this is super fun it's refined from the original cut file and i just love it it's so cute and then last but not least we have the sweet and spooky patterned paper pack love this color palette it reminds me of the color palette on oh goodness what was that called i don't know i had a pink and orange i think it was Happy Haunting, maybe? I think that was the Simple Stories version of it because we adapted it to a paper line. Uh, but it was pink and orange and black. And this one is pink and orange and black and a little bit of sort of lilac and purple. Goodness. Again, she includes the matching ink colors. So we've got pink champagne, apricot, orange peel, sangria, twilight, midnight, and then the Transylvania sequin mix. We've got a purple gingham, words, love how this came out, so fun, plaid of course, this is such a sweet paper pad, repeating cobwebs with spiders, I mean it's just screams Halloween. Look at those witchy hats. Oh. And a stripe. It's a little bit wonky. You can see it's not perfectly straight. But that is what I have designed thus far for Catherine Pooler Designs this year. Very busy over there. I don't always um, announce those releases because they just come hot and heavy and I always miss them so super excited to do this unboxing so that you can see what i've been doing over there so if you enjoyed this video i'd love it if you give it a thumbs up if you're new here go ahead and subscribe i would love to have you if you don't already you can follow me over on instagram i'm at tracy m reed i'd love to see you over there as well and i will see you next time thank you